Hey guys and welcome to episode 40 of the Aditistic show and oh my god it's been one hell of a ride I have learned so much from teaching you guys I have you know and you guys have been who, who have been supporting me on my Instagram and all of that stuff I love all of you and I honor you I really do and on this episode let's get into the episode on this episode I have something that has left the most profound impact on my life at least it, this is the biggest lesson that I have ever learned in the history of my life. I'm only 17 years old. So, you know, I'm obviously exaggerating when I say the history of my life. So, <laughs> so this is the lesson that I have learned that has made the biggest impact on my life. And I think this is my biggest superpower. Like, if you believe that I'm some kind of a hero, I'm, if you, for a second, let's say that I'm Superman. And if you come and ask me, like, what is your superpower? How do you, what, what makes you differentiate from other people? And I'm going to say this is my super, which I'm going to teach you in a minute, okay? Don't don't get all angry at me, you know? I know I create this suspenseful environment, okay? I'm sorry, but this is what I do. Let me tell you a bit of a backstory, how I learned this. My first mentor, my first real mentor, there have been mentors before this, and uh, I have had so many after this. But the first real mentor uh, in my life was Tony Mr. Robbins, Mr. Tony Robbins, I'm sorry. Uh, and Tony Robbins, uh, you know, whenever I heard about him, the first time I heard about him, it's so cool for sure, you're gonna love this. I was on uh, my little PC, you know, and at that time it was a Pentium 4, you know, you, can you imagine that? I was 10 years old, I think. I was 10 years old on my Pentium 4 and all I knew was achieving goals. Like I was obsessed over it, you know, success. I was like success, yes, I need that. Okay, I was obsessed over success. And I was downloading this course from YouTube and I didn't know who the guy was. I didn't know what, whatever that was. I never watched that course anyway. And I was uh, downloading that course and it was named something like, I don't actually remember, but it was named something like how to uh, achieve your goals or something like that. And you know, my father, he comes in and he sees this and I'm afraid of my father. <laughs> I'm not now, but at that, at that time I was for some reason. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to see this. I tried to hide, but he sees that. And he says, what what kind of goal you're talking about? The, f the soccer one or something? Uh, obviously he misunderstood and then he understood it. He's like, okay, that kind of goal. You want to achieve that kind of goal. And then he said this magical name. He said, I'm going to tell you about one person in this field. It's going to help you, one person. And he said, Tony Robbins. And then he, uh, and then he told some story of his friend and he uh, they went to his seminars and all of that. I've never been to Tony's seminar by now. I don't know why, but I've never been there. But he said this magical name, Tony Robbins. I was like, this helped. He left and I was on Google searching for Tony Robbins. I was like, tell me the way. How do you do this? How do you earn more money? How do you be more successful? How do you be more famous? I want to know all that stuff. Tony, teach me. I pronoun you, Tony. That's what I was doing on Google. And you know, Tony was really confusing at that time. Not that he was confusing. It's I was like... At 10 years old, I was listening to Tony Robbins and he comes and he's with this, you know, he's with this powerful physiology and he comes in, he's like, strategy is not important. And all of this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know why, I'm, why am I mimicking him? But he taught that stuff like strategy and you know, that state and those, all of this, the story and your beliefs and all of that stuff that Tony teaches and he's so freaking good at it. He's like the best in the world. He taught all of that stuff. And you know what happened was, it like flew over my head and never, I understood squat, nothing. Like, like this is just BS, I'm not gonna learn this, okay. I left it, that's what I did. And what happened is like fast forward six years, uh, yeah, six years in my life. I was going through a very tough time, it was a very challenging time. Those two years of my life, I said they were the most depressing uh, stress time that uh, that it could get for me. And uh, at that time, I was really questioning everything. I was like, why is this happening to me? But what I didn't realize was that all of that was happening for me. That's a story for another day. But uh, I was going through that time and I was scrolling YouTube and I see this guy. And now Tony, he's in the back of my mind somewhere. You know, I know about Tony Robbins. He talks about this stuff. I really don't understand. And, you know, he really changed life. I, I don't know how he does that. And I was scrolling YouTube and I saw this interview of Tony Robbins. Gary Vee did it. And at that time, I was really obsessed with Gary Vee, you know, Gary Vee, you know, he's talking about hard work, hustle, all of that stuff. And I was like, this is cool. I want to learn this. And, you know, he was talking, he was with Tony Robbins. He invited Tony Robbins. It, it was a chat on investing and all of that. But for some reason, that was the first time I really understood Tony. 
And that was really cool talk. I really loved that, you know, the interview and all of that. That was cool. If you're not, if you have not watched that, I'll link it in the uh, in the description. Go watch it. That's a cool one. And afterwards, that was when I really, you know, uh, listened to Tony, and that was the first time I really starting to understand Tony. But still, he was this guy. He talks about fulfillment. I want success. I want money. I want fame. I want. Uh, I want cars. I want jewelry. I want gold. I, I don't want that, but I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you understand, you know. <laughs> I want all of that stuff. But what Tony teaches, he comes in and he says, "Be happy." And I'm like, "What? Be happy? The money is gonna make me happy, ain't it? The car is gonna make me happy. The gold chain is gonna make me happy. I don't want gold chain. But for some reason, that people do get that gold chain." The the watch, the Rolex watch, that's gonna make me happy, ain't it? The Lamborghini, all of that. But he says no. He takes me by the head and you know, it's not like that. I've listened to this message over and over and over again so much that I really, you know, uh, and now I love Tony from the core of my heart. He is my biggest mentor. He changed my life. And I know many people say this, but I'm gonna say this again. He changed my life uh, for the lack of a better sentence. And what happened is this. After Tony said that a few while, there for uh, after a few while, he said that success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. I was like, huh? How's this? What's this fulfillment thing? And I remember the first time I got this UPW audio uh, audio course. It was a six, I don't know, six seven hours, uh, and I listened to all of it. And then that was the time, you know, I really understood that you need fulfillment. And the first time I read his book, Unshakable, it's an, a book on investing. But you know what Tony does is really incredible. He talks about investing and all the strategies and all of this. But in the end, he talks about being unshakable. He talks about the mindset. He talks about fulfillment, right? That stuff again. Money is not gonna make you happy, and that's not what you want. This is the biggest lesson that I've learned. You know, in my superpower again. Money is never gonna make you happy. I'm sorry, but it is not going to. If you think that, and that's not what you want. That's not what you want. You think you want money, you think you want fame, you think you want the gold chain, you think you want the Lamborghini, you think you want the iPhone, you think you want the, uh, you think you want the big name, you know, on the top of it's some magazine. No, that's never gonna make you happy. You think you want to become New York Times bestseller, bestseller six times. I know a person who is, and he, and this is what he said. He said that you become New York Times bestseller for two weeks uh, after you're just the same guy, you know. You're working, you're grinding, you're doing all of that. That is, is never going to make you happy. What's going to what's really going to make you happy? What's really going to make you, you know, live life is fulfillment. Back to all of that, it's fulfillment. I call this the 80-20 rule of life. 20% of life is just achievement. You know, it's just that. It's achievement. 80% of life is fulfillment. 80% of life is how you look at life. 80% of life is what you what you are what are you feeling right now in the moment? Hey, listen, true story. I have a friend in France and he has achieved all that he wants. And if you're watching this, you know, we had this talk and he told me, like literally, he said, I have achieved everything that I wanted and I don't know what's next. And, you know, he said to me and he was really concerned about me. I don't know why, but he was really concerned about me. He really cares for me and all of that. He was like, you are doing an awesome job. Keep at it. And I'm concerned about it. And this is the advice that he literally gave me. He said that emotions are going to F you up. Emotions, if you take place of, if you take control of that part, boom, everything is done, everything is set, everything, you have achieved everything. But if you miss that part, even if you achieve great things, there are millionaires who make a million so fast and they lose it faster. That's how life is. It's the emotional part, it's the fulfillment part, it's the, uh, it's how you feel in the moment. That's how, that's the easiest way I can teach you. How you feel in the moment is it's going to de determine your actions and your success. And if you don't feel good, you're never going to perform good. If you feel ecstatic, you're going to perform that. If you feel happy, you're going to perform in that way. If you feel excited, you're going to perform in that way. Imagine if this video that I'm just recording for you guys, if it was like, okay, welcome to episode number 40 and I'm going to talk to you about fulfillment. You're going to, uh, you're going to be out of it. You're never going to watch this. The only reason, you know, you get successful in life is because you're fulfilled. And uh, 
And the only reason you stay at that game of success is because you learn this peace inside of you. You learn this, uh, you learn this fulfillment game. You this fulfillment game of yours is strong. That's how you become successful. And you can become successful without it, but you can't sustain it. I know people, you know, uh, again, who made a million, but they've lost a million faster. And th th it's such an awesome story, yeah, and I, I love to share this with you. The astronauts on the moon, there were three astronauts. The first time they're going to the moon, it's such a big adventure. They, they're excited, they're telling all their friends and family, oh my God, I'm going to the moon and I'm going, uh, for the first time, we are going to be the first person who ever set place on the moon. They're really excited, right? It's what a heck of an adventure. All of us want that. No, it's a big adventure. What happens when they come back from the moon? They go to the moon, it's all great. They come back, they shake the president's hand. What happens next? All of them become depressed, three of them. And now you might be asking like, how is that possible? They have the biggest adventure, uh, they had the biggest adventure in their life. Still they're depressed, they're stressed, they're not happy. Yes, they're not happy because they're not fulfilled. They're not happy because they have not learned to experience the joy in a smile, experience the adventure in a smile. They know that going to the moon is a big adventure, but ha are you experiencing the adventure that's happening in front of you? That's called life by itself? No, life is unfolding in front of you. It's the moment, moments are happening, the external world, it's unfolding in front of you. It's how you are reacting. It's either you're reacting to it or it's either you are, you know, consciously choosing how you want to behave, how you want to feel about it. And if you really want, you know, this fulfillment and all, and the, you know, I told you about my friend from France. He said that I have achieved everything, everything that I've ever wanted. And I don't know what's next. And he also said to me that, you know, I have got 99 pieces of life figured out. But there's that one piece that's remaining, that emotional part, you know, that fulfillment part again. And it's it's one of my friends and I have seen that pattern over and over again in people like all around the world. They got 99 pieces of life figured out. It's not just with my friend, it's with everyone. 99 pieces of life, but that one piece of life that's missing, it, it really, really breaks you or makes you. That one piece. And what's it called? It's called fulfillment. It's called joy, it's called love, it's called excitement, it's called whatever you want to call it. But it's called emotional mastery. You see, the mastery in life comes from emotional mastery. But if you become the master of your emotion, if you create them, it's not like you're reacting with your emotions. Like all of a sudden, you know, your friend comes in 10 minutes late and you're angry about it. You're reacting about it. He, he hasn't even showed up, but you are reacting so much, you're messing up your life. See, life is always happening in front of you. It's happening. It's there. How you choose to be, how you choose to feel about it, that changes the whole game, the whole game. If I have to put fulfillment in a single sen sentence, it's how you feel about life. That's it. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing big. It's nothing uh, just like spiritual or something. It's how you feel about life. Some people call it spirituality. Some people call it mindfulness. Some people call it focus. Some people call it uh, happiness. Some people call it joy. Some people call it love. But it's all the same. It's all the same. It's called how you feel about life. How you feel. And there are four things you need to start practicing. If you really want to fulfill life, if you want to create the success you want, but also create the internal success you want, the fulfillment you want, the happiness you want. If you want to sustain the external success, and the internal success. Uh, here's my, here's my guess. You want to be successful, just like I, I want, I wanted to be. I want to be successful even now. It's not that I have given up on my dreams and, and I'm like, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm not like that. I want those things, but I don't need them for my happiness. I'm happy right now. I'm the happiest person on, on the face of the planet Earth. It's not like I'll have something and then I'll be loving. It's not like I'll have the perfect women and then I'll be loving. No, I'm loving right now, right? This is what you need to practice. This is what you need to, and all the, all the fulfillment really is, it's just practice. It's an art, but it's practice. You can get better at art by practicing. And this art in life, this will be the biggest single reason behind all the success you're ever gonna get, 
all the happiness you're ever gonna are you ever gonna feel in your life every single thing it comes from this it's come and the best part is it comes from you you don't have to you know go and ask somebody it comes from you 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 are the creator of your own life not a manager a creator that's how you create you either and when you you cannot create mm-hmm. when you're reacting you're reacting to all this stuff that's coming your way you cannot create when you are doing Hey guys, before you continue to your episode, please take a moment to go down and press the subscribe and the bell icon because who will not do that? And I really want you to uh, enjoy the episode and tell me in the comments what do you think about it. We're doing that. And I just, uh, I'm sorry, I said, I said to you four, four things. things. Here they are. Practice love. And it's not like you go and you say, oh my God, love me, love me, love me. You gotta love me, you gotta love me. And if they don't love me, I'm sad. No. give it give all the things that uh, i'm going to talk about except contribution give those things first is love second is appreciation appreciate what's in front of you even if it's bad even if it's even if it sucks just appreciate it it's happening you have no control over it how do you how can you say that you have control over this external world it's going on it's going on for 13.8 billion years that's when the big bang happened and then it's going on and it will go and you and i we just have very small influence in this world even if we have some it's like 0.0000000001 right how can we control this world this is the external world it's happening what we can do is we can appreciate it whatever it is we can appreciate it and then we, if there are some problems we can solve those problems but those problems need to be solved from a place of appreciation not from a place of oh my god this is happening i got to go solve this if you can't handle that problem first in your mind you cannot handle that in the external world love appreciation contribution give you give up it's the best feeling in 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 life when you give and you see the smile on some person's face whether some that person is in your family or that person is a complete it's a complete stranger the smile that you and and by the way this is not based on any religion on caste or on creed on color it's it's universal give it okay give these things give give just give everything and by the way what i mean by give everything is give love and give uh just contribute i can't put in uh, in you know a single sentence and if i keep on explaining it will be a 12 hour master class <laughs> so just contribute and the last thing is gratitude again appreciation and gratitude feel grateful for yourself for your past for your future and for your life what you have and when you come from this place my friend i'm going i'm telling you when you come from this place there's no challenge you can't handle that's my biggest superpower I can get any challenge in life it can be big it can be devastating it can be heartbreaking but I know that I'm going to get to the other side not because I'm so great it's because I've had challenges and I've gone to the I've gone through the other side and what I've learned is this that, that what I shared with you fulfillment that's life that's power that's that's the biggest superpower that you can have that is going to determine your level of success and i hope you really you really live a life of fulfillment i hope you live a life of love and a life of joy and a life of happiness of excitement and of passion but what all of that means is just live a life of fulfillment and if you really enjoyed that this episode just go down and click the subscribe button because if you don't 